Alright, so I thought I'd record a shorter in a nutshell version. So uh, here goes. One, natural resonance frequencies, which are frequencies that beam off an object. Um, overall resonance. Two so example would be two frequencies coming together at once, inducing an overall resonance wise effect effect that neither of these two by themselves could ever put out. Wave writing, meaning that you have two transmitters, one EMF here, one EMF there. Even though that they're not fully in sync, meaning that they're on different frequencies, they still come into synchronization enough of the time to have enough of the wave writing, which is where they make each other louder, and it can still raise the levels up to a pretty considerable degree. Now, beats. And what do I mean by that? Well, time compressed TV shows. So the pitch that the person is talking at is fine, but the tempo they're talking at isn't. And another way to think of this is amplitude modulation transmission. So if you have a carrier wave that naturally resonates with some note of 432 hertz, then naturally playing that acoustically for there would synchronize with the most. However, if you play anything else through it, it won't synchronize as much, but you know, there won't be a full synchronization, but it'll still come through enough times like both the eyes, like this eye and this eye will become open at the same time, enough of the time for you to get a coherent signal. So there's that. And with objects and EMFs, you can have, you know, one object giving you a natural resonance frequency here, and an EMF giving you one thing here, and you can get your fruit effect just from that. So yeah, there you go. Um, see you guys later. Bye.